Hello everyone, Man Thrall here, and welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV episode. Now this one, I wanted to go a little bit into, you know, the characters. And about the jobs, the classes, the reputation, well, maybe the reputation a little bit, because I said a little bit about it in the, the um, uh, dungeon video I did. But this one is going to be more of just about your classes and jobs. So, when I say classes and jobs, because that means your classes is traditionally just your combat, and jobs is your um, skills. So, that's the best way of looking at it. Now, like most MMOs, there is tanking classes, there is DPS classes, but this one also has magical DPS, has healers, has uh, physical DPS or ranged physical melee, you know, it has a good variety of things. But now you'll notice that, you know, okay, for instance, my class is an Arcanist. Now, eventually, I will be able to become a Summoner. So every single one of these actually can be upgraded to another level. Except for certain ones like, you know, Samurai, Dark Knight, uh, I think Astrologian, Machinist, and Red Mage. Those are currently at their max levels. Well, um, their max prestige, if you will, I guess I should say. Uh, where the rest of them are kind of the beginning part of the class until you hit level 30. The reason why those other ones are not is because they actually require you to be level 50 in one of these other classes. Now, the nice thing about this game is... If you don't like your current class, that's fine. You can become another class. Uh, you just have to reach, I believe, I want to say it's either level 10 or level 15, and then you can start branching out into getting more and more classes. So don't be discouraged, because if you don't like it, you can always change it, which is actually, when you think about it, really cool. So that's something that actually kind of, you know, keep in mind, you know, you can change it up. You can actually have all of them if you so desire to. And eventually you'll be able to have all the soul gems, which is, well, soul crystals as they call them here. Uh, which is, you know, pretty cool because that means, you know, you can actually become anything you so desire. And if you ever wanted to change it, all you have to do is just change your weapon out and then that's what you'll be. But now when it comes to the jobs, which is your skills, you have a lot of them and there's a lot of daily missions you can actually do, which is fantastic because those daily missions, they can also deal with your combat. Uh, but there's also a lot with skills. So you can actually be doing those, getting a lot of XP, the only downside is, if you are doing it that way, um, it actually hurts you in the sense that you're going to be needing a lot of items. And when you need a lot of items, I'm sure you can already tell what this is going to get to. If you are focusing on goldsmith, you're going to need a lot of tools from the miner. If you are a blacksmith, Again, you're going to need stuff from the miner. Like the mine, the, the disciplines of the land, which is essentially your gathering skills, are going to become very dependent upon, well, the disciple, disciples of the hand, I should say, is more dependent upon the disciples, oh, disciples of the land, which, you know, it's your gathering, and then into your production skills. So, it's very heavily dependent upon the other ones. Now, I will uh, be making an episode here shortly about whenever you go into actually doing skills, because unlike most MMOs, um, there's actually a lot to the skilling. But their skilling is actually just as um, advanced as combat. So, I mean, you'll have combat abilities, you'll have skilling abilities, and I mean skilling of abilities, which is absolutely fantastic, which is something I really wish RuneScape would incorporate, too. Uh, but, other than that, uh, just the gear itself is the gear you have, um, 
<sighs> you have a lot of gear that, you know, once you start getting it, once you wear it, it starts to degrade as you're doing combat. So as you're using it, as you can see here, I, I don't know if you can see it too well on the recording screen. Um, I don't know how well you can see it is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, you'll notice there's green and then there's blue bars and then there's a little bit of red. Uh, red is the depleted part of the durability. And all you have to do is actually just either fix it yourself or you can actually just take it somewhere and pay to have it fixed up pretty cheap. So it's not too bad, but it's really cool to do. And yes, there is actually stuff you can do like draw and cheese stuff. You can have a display mode on and off. And you can, there's all sorts of stuff you can do with this, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, but all in all, see here's even more stuff you can do. See like right here, I can repair it. Uh, if I had dark matter and different types of grade of dark matter, you know, I could fix my own stuff for free. So that's actually pretty cool. But that'll actually do it for this video because I just kind of wanted to show you the, you know, the whole different system with this. And actually, one more thing before I forget. Okay, so there's different things you can actually do, learn, uh, as you have seen. But now these roll actions can, these, these abilities, these are special abilities you get as you level up. These can actually be used in other jobs. Well, other uh, classes. So essentially, um, let's say for down the road, I wanna become a black mage, which is the thermal mage, but the advanced version. Some of these abilities I'll actually be able to use in that. Uh, class. I can't use all of the abilities, but I'll be able to use some of those abilities, which is actually very nice because that means you can actually meet, or it means you can actually make a hybrid class, which is something I personally really love. Uh, but now that'll actually do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and until next time, later guys.